Hey, man, it's John Benjamin from Colin. How oh. are you? Hey, John. Uh, what's up? How you doing? Good. I'm doing my uh, show right now, uh, incidentally. Hmm. No, I know. I just figured I would call just because, uh, you know, I want to address this, you know. I talked to Tim last night, and... Uh, Tim? I just wanted to go to... No, Tim Pool. Mm. Okay. Regarding the, the, you know, the stuff he was talking about regarding Bob's Burgers, and uh, I'm obviously Bob on Bob's Burgers, so when I talk to Tim about it, I usually don't want to get in the middle of, of shit like this. <laughs> uh, and I certainly don't want to, like, you know, uh, deal with this publicly. I probably could have called you earlier. I just figured I would. I have hey, wait, 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 wait. I have free time. I have free time now, and I, then I'm back, obviously, to recording Boss Burgers. That's what I, what I do all the time. Wait, 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 um, wait, 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 wait. What? What are? What and are I you? I understand. Well, let me let me finish. Uh, I, this don't... is kind of this is kind of what Tim was talking about. Um, <laughs> what the how you like, you know, filibuster and cut people off. But and just, I assume I, well, when I, you talk to when you talked to Tim about the problems you were having with Bob's orders, of course Tim was gonna talk to me about it. Wait, so, wait, wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a what? You know, about how you were upset about your diminished role in the show and how Tim had pointed that out, rightfully so, because he was just, you know, telling it like it is, like he does. Uh, Wait, there's video? Well, hold, hold on, hold, yeah, hold I mean, on. That's how, I didn't, I, that's, I have no idea. I, mean, I have no idea. I assume what, you saw it. I did not see it. Hold on. There's what? Then play it. Play it, Bradley. Hold on for one second. I want to see this. Okay. I All right. Honestly, I, yeah. no I idea what time, you're talking about. Okay. Okay. What? Biden they did a bait and switch with the other guy with the eyebrow action. Was yep. his name. And, and so this is why, like, I have no no problem with with like mentioning him. You mm. you want us to talk about it? Listen, the dude, his whole shtick is trying to get attention. He's sadly desperate. Mm -hmm. He did a voice on Bob's Burgers, and they and they started cutting his character out, and he was losing it. He does the you ever, you ever, you ever see Bob's Burgers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam Cedar is the voice of the health inspector. And I remember <laughs> I was talking to him once, and he was like, "Yeah, but they're not. They're like they're like weaseling me out of the show, man." He's like, he's getting bummed about it. <laughs> so what does he do? No, I mean I'd be bummed too. I mean I feel right. for him. Like, yeah. wow, caught red-handed, Sam. I I oh, I don't yeah. I don't really remember. I, I assume you would, yeah. I, I don't you had heard, I heard that. No, I didn't. I, I didn't hear that. I, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't remember ever saying to Tim Poole uh, in any type of conversation that we've ever had, which is Are mostly you been, your all been recorded. But just like, uh, hey, man, I'm losing my mind. I didn't. That doesn't sound like me so much. Well, I mean, that does sound like a little bit of what you were going through. And Timbo was talking to me last night about it. Uh uh, look, I guess he was saying in good faith. He, I guess he sort of asked me to sort of sort of bridge this. I, like I said, I want to deescalate because that's what Timbo wants to do. Um, uh, he there's doesn't what? want this. Hold on. Talk. There's more. There's more. Uh, good. There's another clip. All right, play that one. What the? This guy's obsessed with you. My point. Look, dude. Who? I, 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 I've done a debate with Sam Cedar. He didn't know what solipsism was. He didn't know what deontological uh, moral philosophy was. He didn't know what utilitarian, utilitarianism meant. He's an, and actor. I'm so, and he's an actor first. I and, agree and with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I... I mean, when I was talking to Tim, obviously, you're, you're a consequentialist, right? I mean, no. I, well, I, I mean, I guess I'm more of a utilitarian, uh, I guess, arguably, a consequentialist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would say so. I mean, have you read Brand at all? Russell? No, CD? No, I haven't read CD. <laughs> I've read Russell Brand. But, uh, you've read Russell Brand? Why? <laughs> Because uh, it's hey, uh, the bookie looks were okay in praise of idleness. <laughs> hey. I was into that, but what does that get to do with anything, John? I mean, have you read? I mean, that is like this has to do with everything of why you, you do have a dementia role in body. Have you, you, have you read Nagel? Well, that was the that whole was point with uh, with Lauren. 
What about Scanlon? Have you read Scanlon or Scruton, any of these people? I haven't read Scanlon or Scruton. Sir but... Edmund Burke? Have you read, sir, you took government and you in college, a, didn't you? A little bit of Burke, but what has this got to do have with you, Bob's? Have you, sir, have you read C.S. Lewis? Have you read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? <laughs> what, what, what has this got to do with Bob's Burgers? <laughs> have you read Emmanuel Kant? I mean, are you... Uh, well, are you yes, I, I, I have. Categorical imperative? Yeah. You have. So you know Fleet. You know Fleet. <laughs> I don't know Fleet. <laughs> You're aware of Fleet. Well, uh, w- w- but John, what has this got to do with Bob's Burgers is my question. Do you practice self-love? <laughs> <laughs> what? In a Kantian sense. Do you practice self-love? Hey, philosophical you, self-love. You, <laughs> look, look, John. Yes, do you masturbate to Kant? Do you do that? <laughs> Occasionally Hume, okay? <laughs> Okay, well, this is the point that Tim is getting at, and this is why it's true. We have a problem. The show has a problem with you. Have you seen Infinity Wars? <laughs> the Infinity Wars? Have you even seen Age of Ultron? Have you seen any of the Marvel? Have you seen Iron Man? Of course I've seen that. <laughs> this is what Tim is talking about, dude. <laughs> but I, I just don't follow what that's got to do with what you're even... Have wa- you seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? <laughs> I, I have <laughs> the not... The TV se- series. No, I haven't. See, this is like none of this. You don't have any of the reference, the frame of references that we do, that Tim and I do, that the show does. Wait, what is, how does Bob's Burgers do anything about the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.s or, uh, or any and of this? you got to, like, what you need to do is just address these issues first. Get to your, get on the Internet, look, look up some of this stuff, read some of this stuff, get on board. And then, I, I, look, I'll go back to Tim, and I'll tell him that we talked. But until you do these things, like, I feel like this is not going to work out for, for you. <laughs> it's not going to get you, it's not, it's not going to get you more voice work. So wait, wait, your, your argument is that if I, if, I can, if I can make a good case, a Hegelian case, as to why Kant's uh, uh, whole read into sort of moral ethics is too uh, <laughs> self-contradictory, uh, then then I, I'm going to get more Hugo on Bob's Burgers. I mean, if, if you do those things, I can definitely talk to people at the show. But I don't even understand why you care. Yeah. You, you, you gotta look. You gotta look deeper, man. Look inward. <laughs> See, that's the whole problem: is that you don't understand. Yeah. 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 The ontology, but look into it. Call me back, <laughs> and then we can figure this shit out. I will go. Ba- I'll go back to Tim and tell him I talked to you. And I, you know, like I said, I didn't even want to get mad about this. I didn't even want to get in the middle of it. All right. All right. I don't want to, I don't, you know, he's going to make another video tonight, probably. Well, I appreciate the, I uh, appreciate the call. I appreciate the effort, so. Yeah, look I mean, out, man. Look out. Can't we just agree, though, like, and I'm not, I know some could say this is a little solipsistic, but the movie needed more Hugo, right? <laughs> the, the, are you asking me? Yeah, the movie needed more Hugo. It did, just like in terms of like, uh, just the uh, to actually create the tension necessary. Well, see, now you're talking. You're started to look. You know, you're you're you you looked obviously looked up what solipsism was, and now you're sort of owning it. Yeah, think, there you go. Appreciate that. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Dialectically yeah. speaking, I, I it needed more Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, right, man. Good luck. All right, thanks. Thanks for the call. All right. Oh, all right. You might even say Hugo the health inspector embodies the world spirit. You yeah. might. You might say that. <laughs> you know, it's just like deontological uh, ethics are for babies. Yeah. Like, um, what's your sense of duty? Who tells you that? Daddy? Well, they're, 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 it's, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's for liber- babies. It's libertarian. Yeah. Right? It, I mean, it's, it's just like, ultimately, it's just like, a, a, you know, I mean, the, the way that it gets uh, communicated, and I don't care, and I will make this clear. I've said this before. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you can classify my positions 
uh, in uh, the context of, of philosophy or not. I don't care. But I am happy if if Tim is if the reason why that uh, Tim uh, refuses to uh, debate, as opposed to like when we had the last debate, and I think it was a little embarrassing for him. I think that was part of the problem. Um, is because unlike all his other guests, I don't have a deep enough understanding of deontology as it relates to a, uh, you know, an, an ethical worldview. Yeah, unlike yeah. the Hodge twins. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't have the perspe perspicacity, right? That's uh, what it was? I guess so. And... And also, uh, the, the one thing I did find really amusing is that g g people don't say, like, Tim doesn't seem to understand, and of course, he's heard me bitch about uh, Hugo. I mean, it's, it's not like I didn't start a hashtag, where's Hugo, yeah. eight years ago complaining about my role on the program. It's sort of a bit. <laughs> That kind of went, went over his head a little it may, bit. It may have gone over his head a little bit, and he just assumed that he heard me say it to him personally behind the scenes. Yeah. Like, this is an actual grievance. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm very happy with what's happening with Harold, though, on the program. That's I gotta huge. Say. Like, Harold has uh, been uh, gangbusters. Is he very ca Kantian? Sort of um, well, Harold has far more figure. like, yes, uh, Harold's read his Ralston. And so, uh, he can defend his utilitarianism better. Um, the, uh, the, the perception that these people have of the program is completely built upon, um, what their algorithm is in terms of what they look at. And only so, seen when we criticize them. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, we don't, I don't watch all of Tim, but I don't make broad proclamation. I have no idea. It's quite possible that Tim has experts on the Supreme Court on his show with the same regularity that we do. Yeah. It's quite possible that Tim has uh, experts on public policy on his show with the regularity that we do. He could have, for all I know, he could be doing a deep dive into the implications of reconstruction uh, or uh, the implications of, of uh, I can't even remember what we talked about with Cowie, uh, Professor Cowie, just uh, two days ago. I mean, limits of Keynesianism. Or, or he could be, I know he's very much into the working class, and he could be talking about, he could be talking to people about austerity as a function of, uh, of, a, of a feature, not a bug of, of capitalism. He could be doing this. So I don't make any broad proclamations about what his show covers or not. Granted, every time we tune in, maybe it's just he feels more comfortable talking to people like the, the Hodge twins. I don't know who they are or uh, like the, the head of the Proud Boys or, you know, uh, Crowder the of a, uh, or whatever it is, or Kanye, or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, that's when we, we tune in more. So I understand that's a, that's a limit that we have. Uh, but if Tim really wants to have a conversation about the Supreme Court, I'd be happy to have a conversation with about the Supreme Court about any of it. And he can go on and lie about, like, the, he's offended how I ruined everything with Crowder, or it was because I wouldn't go in the middle of uh, COVID into his studio. Um, but uh, that's that. But, I mean, Tim is... Now I just know that next time I'm complaining about what's happening in my uh, voiceover, my burgeoning voiceover career, I don't go to Tim because he spills the beans. And now, you know, you got Benjamin running around now telling everybody, too. It's a feud. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Can't believe it. I told him that in confidence. Yeah. Who can you trust? These Who can you trust is really the point. I mean, honestly, we should have known that this is the avenue you'd go down, given your deep utilitarian ideology. I just thought that Tim could help uh, leverage, and then he turns around with this type of thing. Really... Oh, a little upsetting. A little upsetting. Also, uh, you've had private conversations with members of the IDW, and you would never really reveal what they sort of told you in confidence on those calls. That's actually true. I did have a conversation. Who, who didn't I speak to? One of like the uh, Eric. Eric Weinstein. Yep. Like for for like an hour. Strange guy. He was a very strange guy. I thought. I think he wanted to find out what I was up to. 
I'm like, dude, everything <laughs> I've said to you, everything I say, I say on air. I thought I could get him to uh, to engage on on the show, but he was just scouting me out.